What's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Create App Up. Today, Mystica VR just released a brand new update to allow us as a stitcher to make our job even easier, especially for people who film with this camera, the Insta360 Pro. This camera allows you to film 6K stereoscopic footage, but doesn't mean the footage come out here is good stereo, especially if you forgot to calibrate before or during the shoot. Now, Mystica VR allow us to import the calibration data directly from the camera into your Mystica project. So you come out right off the box, have a really good stereoscopic stitch. It's no more clicking around button to just adjust the, the horizon and whatnot to achieve a good stereo on this bad boy. You can actually read the data directly from the camera. So for store of you forgot to stitch before you shoot, which you should always, always do that. Calibrate your camera before you, uh, before you shoot, before uh, you film stereo. But if you forget to do that, or you have old footage that you did not calibrate correctly, uh, Mystica VR also provide a way for you uh, to recalibrate the stereo so you achieve a really good result. You will not see vertical parallax, uh, which what cause people have nausea and sick in stereoscopic when you watch it in the VR goggle. And I will show you exactly how to do that in this tutorial. Let's dive right in, guys. Before you jump into the software, I just want to point out that uh, how you correctly actually calibrate uh, with the Insta360 Pro camera. So again, turn the camera on. Okay, so now the camera is turned on. Uh, so every time before you shoot, first for every stereoscopic production, make sure your camera is on absolutely a level ground or the camera is level using a bubbler or using an iPhone app to calibrate a camera. Uh, that's a very important step. Again, why not I'm handheld it, so that's a bad example. But put it on a tripod, monopod, and calibrate the level. Second thing is look at the menu right here, right? Uh, go ahead and pick the this one. Uh, and then go ahead and hit it. So it asks you to move one meter away from the camera in four, five six seconds. So to stay away from the camera, uh, you literally physically stay away from the camera uh, from, I would say, 10 meters instead of one meter. And then the camera to do the calibration job. So I obviously need to recalibrate. I did not do that. But even that with this instruction, uh, I mean, because I before that I used pedigree and I know that the best practice is to actually put the camera in open ground and all the subjects should be evenly spread out around the camera, but in the same distance. So no object, no human being, no moving object, nothing too close or too far away from the camera. So that is how you get a really refined calibration for your stereo uh, footage. So even in instruction, uh, people just move one meter away. Uh, but most of the time, their finger is still in the, uh, you know, because they push the button, right? Their finger is still in the frame, or they're not moving fast enough, or they actually just walk right into the scene, uh, or, or the director just try to talk to you. It's a lot of scenario that you do not get a good calibration. And in a time crunch, you just need to go ahead and shoot. And so you do not get a good calibration. That's what happened most of the case. If that's the scenario, I'll teach you exactly how to fix that in post in Mythica. But let's assume that each time you film stereo 6K uh, with Insta360 Pro, you do exactly what you should do to calibrate the camera in the open ground without anything too close to the camera. You should have a really good calibration data stored inside your SD card on your hard drive. And I'll show you where they are and you can use this data in Mythica to create a one button click calibration stitching to, to achieve the perfect stereo footage. Okay, now so we open the SD SSD drive uh, in my computer uh, right here. It's my Samsung uh, SD drive uh, to store the footage. If you look at this folder, as you see in the folder structure, you have the six lens data, but you also have this thing and that is what the calibration data we just generate stored in is right here and that is what Mystica need to calibrate. Okay, so Mystica is open. Now you need to create a brand new project for Insta360 Pro. Actually, that is also a tip I'm gonna show you because uh, if you create a new project, we actually do not have the 6K output for Insta360 Pro. If you look at the Pro software here, 6K, 
uh, you see the 6K is 6400 times 6400. You see Mystica does not have that setting. You always want to create a template for each camera you use. For me, I use two camera, primarily the Insta360 Pro and the Obsidian. So go ahead and, and pick this one, this 6K. But again, you see I already did one right here, so uh, I'll just cancel it. Uh, so this one is already created, have this name, but everything is wrong. Frame rate is not that, video size is not that. So uh, go ahead and close Mystica and actually go into my personal folder, user, my name. Uh, under my personal folder, I had this folder called GSO data. Go open it, open project, and you'll see that project file is right here. Uh, so what I need to modify is that Insta360 Pro 6K Stereo. Just open it right here. Uh, just open this with any text editor. 29.97. It's the correct frame rate. And then uh, the maximum output I want is 6K, which is 6400. So go ahead and here is 6400. And then divide by two is 3200. Uh, why I do not output the direct 6400 uh, into stereoscopic? Because sometimes I, I don't want to output directly stereo. Um, Alpha Mystica. I want to output mono just for Facebook production. So I rather will have that flexibility. Uh, let Mystica to actually double the frame instead of doing it right here. So that is the reason why I actually use the mono template instead of the stereo template. But go ahead and fix this. So now the output format is exactly like the Insta360 Stitcher. So uh, go ahead and save this file and close that. If you reopen Mystica and see the first window pop up is the exact frame rate captured by the camera and the size, the final format we want. Perfect. Go ahead and open this project. So before we even do that, make sure you're on the latest Mystica firmware because this is a brand new feature just released. So make sure you update to the latest Mystica VR. And then step one is same stuff, same workflow uh, as my other tutorial. Go ahead and find your footage. And that is the footage I need to stitch. So it's six lens data. Go ahead and pick six lens data, but not the folder, but the lens data individually and drag it into Mystica. Mystica have a window pop up, I ask you, hey, click per shot. So it's a six lens rig, right? So type in six and then use default template. And here, because it's the Insta360 uh, 6K stereo. So go ahead and find the Insta360 Pro template. It's right here is this template for the 6K stereoscopic. Go ahead and pick that, hit open, and continue. And Mystica will generate, why not just close this window, and Mystica will generate a stitch right here. And for you to see better, I will open the black and white anagraph, and move right here and look at the stereo stitch. If you pay really close attention, the red higher than the blue uh, and the actual footage. So have this vertical parallax. That is actually very, very bad, bad example. Look at this. Look at actually this is really clear right now. See, uh, all these have a vertical parallax. So that's why like people said that, oh, Insta360 Pro just do very bad stereo. Well, because most of the time they did not even calibrate their camera. So that's why they captured bad stereo. So that is, that is not the camera's fault. It's, it's mostly because user error. So uh, Mystica right now, it's a brand new version, had this feature to fix it. You can easily, easily drop this in here, or you can use the correct word for uh, go on a stitch, say import stitch right here. Remember this PR, uh, P, pro .prj file? That is a calibration data file that stores the calibration you do when I show you in the beginning of this video. So go ahead and hit open. Pay attention to my shoulder. So now look at that. Now the blue, the scion, and the red, and this frame is in the same level now. So the vertical parrot is gone. So usually that is done. But that is making the assumption that you actually did a really, really good calibration before you start recording in your camera. Uh, but again, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, most people actually don't have time or forgot to do that. So it's actually in this video, I did not calibrate. That is the calibration data. I use it for my period shoot. It's again, pretty good calibration, but this can be better. 
uh, what do I mean better? So, um, so if you pay attention, the writing on the wall, future exhibits, uh, that is actually a pretty far object. It should not have that much parallax. And also you see a little bit vertical parallax on such a distant object, and that is not right. And this is what I meant is not perfect, not as good as we can be. And I will teach you how to fix that. So here is a hack to use the Mythica to actually use an even better calibration frame for fixing the vertical parallax to get a better stereo. So this is how you do that first. So go ahead and open the Insta360 Stitcher. In the Insta Stitcher, uh, there's actually a way to weak calibrate frame. So let's pay attention in here. Let's actually find a good frame calibrate. So why now I'm too close to the camera. So that is a bad calibration. Remember that you should not when it hit the calibrate, you should not let any moving subject or just any object too close or too far from the camera. So I don't find a frame. Okay, so right here, as you see, I am actually really far away from the camera now, and I'm like against the wall. That should be a really good frame to calibrate if you're actually calibrate with the camera. That's what you should do. Nothing too close or too far away from the camera, and everything in the background is kind of like in the same distance. That's a perfect scenario for calibration. So in here, in the Insta360 Stitcher, you can recalibrate. Uh, with this set as preview right here, if you hit that, a window pop up. And go ahead and stitch the preview image for you. And that's a weak calibration. And while we add it, uh, we want to also use the top part optimization that Insta360 Pro Stitcher provide. Uh, actually go ahead and also get the top part fixed. So see, it moves the frame a little bit and fix the top part as well. And that set as a reference frame right here and then save and apply. So after you do that, Insta360 actually generate and recalibrate data. And if you're on a PC, go ahead and go to your documents folder. On the document, there's an Insta360 folder right here. And there's an Insta360 Stitcher, go in here. And there's a log file. And look at the date. That is the file. Insta just generated the new calibration data I just set for this video. So go ahead and go back to Mystica. And right here, under Stitch, import Stitch. But this time, instead of picking the project file, you go to my document, Insta360, Stitcher folder, the log file, and pick the log file just generated by Insta360 Stitcher. And I want you to pay attention. Again, pay attention on everything. Open, and you see it move. Great. So meaning that the refine stitch is even better now. Look at that. Before that, we even see the vertical, a little bit vertical uh, parallax on really far away object, but now this is actually gone. And, and you see the whole scene is actually level as well. So uh, if you look at the top, again, turn on optical flow. So you can turn on stereo. So now even the top look perfect now. So this is great. Uh, now everything is fixed. Okay, so now you know how to use the brand new Mystica feature to recalibrate your Insta360 Pro footage so you can achieve a really good stereoscopic stitch. Again, Mystica VR and working closely with Insta360 to streamline the workflow. So for the second part, that process might get even st more streamlined in the future version of Mystica. But why not? That's how you recalibrate your footage. If you forgot to calibrate, before and after the shoot, or for old footage that uh, you have, just no way you fix that, that's how you actually fix that. So, if you have a bad stereo stitch from your Insta360 Pro camera, and people said that, hey, that looked horrible, uh, now you can just go back and fix all of it with Mystica VR uh, and achieve a better result. So hopefully you like this video. Again, uh, I have more Mystica tutorial coming out with the brand new firmware. And I, I'm actually gonna show you my my uh, great workflow tutorial using the new version of Mystica. To save you time, uh, time is money, right? So uh, again, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumb up. Uh, if you wanna learn more about Mystica, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.